that I was going to speak about and I'd like to elaborate on it. Um, when I was a law student in Connecticut, um, there was a clinic, a group of, of students, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, students and professors that worked with high school students to sue the state government. And they won significant, uh, significantly more uh, funding for education. And I think Mr. Donnelly, uh, everyone who's mentioned this is right. I, I don't think that we, I don't think there is the political will in the legislature to do what needs to be done in terms of equity for our kids. And if it's an objective standard, I would argue it, it, it violates the statute. It probably violates the state constitution too. And if we're looking at a fiscal cliff in fiscal year 2024, litigation should start this year. And so I guess that my question is, well, first of all, I don't recall. Do you have a, a, a full time that you 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 employ a law firm? You don't have a, a, a school district attorney I can speak to right now. But if there's someone who could speak to that. The question I have is: Would it be the school district that has standing, or the students who have standing, or both? And I think we should start seriously exploring that. You're talking about potentially tens of millions of dollars that I do not believe the legislature has the political will to bring to our kids. Um, and so I think the time has come for litigation or at least exploring litigation seriously with our attorneys. Because I, we've been talking about this since I got on the, on the body too. I mean, it's been, it, from, from the moment I was elected, this has been an issue and there has been no movement at all. I'd say all of the above um, has uh, interest because they're people of Anchorage and yeah. students of Anchorage who see that they are inequitably treated according to their own formula. If they look at the CPIU, the evidence is there. And that's why Mr. Donnelly has been requesting to go and um, have ICER do a study. We even said we pay for it, remember? But they won't because they're supposed to be independent, have the people who might benefit from it to pay for it. So then we went and said, the state, you should ask for it. You should pay for it. Right. But um, even maybe filing the lawsuit might have change happen much quicker. I would suspect it also might look more like a class action with AASB, potentially AML. I don't know that it would be one singular group, um, but Dave's a lawyer. Right. AASB <laughs> doesn't have an interest in this because too many of the people they represent would lose. Yeah. I, I would be, it's interesting. I'm not sure what our role is in this. Um, hopefully you have enough money to, I would suggest setting aside however many tens of thousands of dollars it is for your of counsel attorneys to say, really explore this and let's consider filing a suit. And I, just speaking for myself, I think the assembly would support you. Hopefully the administration would support you. This is a clear equity issue for Anchorage. Thank you, Madam Chair.